Why does the design of an aerodrome matter? How does a runway's layout or the placement of signs and lights influence the safe and efficient operations of an airport? Today, we are going to explore just that, diving into the fascinating world of aerodrome design and operations as outlined in the International Civil Aviation Organization's Annex 14. First, we'll focus on Volume 1, which covers aerodrome design and operations. Consider the runway. Annex 14 doesn't just provide basic specifications. It delves into minute details such as dimensions, surface characteristics, markings and lighting. It considers runway length, width, gradient, surface friction, and even strength, all to accommodate various types and sizes of aircraft. Next, we turn to taxiways. These are the arteries of an airport, directing aircraft from runways to terminals and beyond. Annex 14 establishes standards for layout, dimensions, markings, and more, ensuring a smooth flow of traffic and minimizing the risk of incidents. Then there's the matter of signage and lighting. The placement, size, and visibility of these elements are crucial in providing clear guidance to pilots during taxiing, takeoff, and landing operations, especially in low visibility conditions. Obstacle limitation surfaces are another key aspect. They define the airspace around an aerodrome that must be kept clear of obstacles to ensure the safety of aircraft operations. Markings are not only for runways and taxiways. Annex 14 also provides standards for marking aprons and other areas of the aerodrome to enhance visibility and facilitate safe aircraft movement. Annex 14 also addresses the importance of rescue and firefighting services, setting requirements for availability of firefighting vehicles, equipment, personnel training, and response times. Lastly, bird control measures. Given the potential hazards posed by bird strikes to aircraft, guidelines for implementing bird control measures are included in Annex 14. Moving on to Volume 2, which focuses on heliports. Here we find design criteria for heliports, including helipad dimensions, surface characteristics, and obstacle limitations. Lighting is just as important on helipads as it is on runways, and Annex 14 provides guidelines for the installation of lighting systems to facilitate nighttime operations and improve visibility. Markings are also essential on helipads, indicating touchdown and liftoff areas, safety zones, and other important features. Obstacle limitations are outlined to ensure the safety of helicopter operations, including maintaining clear approach and departure paths free from obstructions. And just as with aerodromes, Firefighting provisions are specified to ensure an effective response to emergencies. In conclusion, both volumes of Annex 14 play a crucial role in promoting the safety, efficiency, and standardization of aerodrome and heliport operations. They ensure that from the moment an aircraft touches the runway or helipad, to the moment it lifts off, every detail is meticulously planned and executed to ensure the smooth, safe operation of our global aviation system.